Hi there Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, we're gonna take a look at your weekend reading, love reading, see what energies pop up here for you. And um, if you wanna get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below the video, so do check that out. Um, also, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my readings here on YouTube. I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, so this is going to be the weekend energies starting in the time you're listening to this through November 20th. And we're going to take a look at um, the overall messages, okay? Overall for you. So obviously when I was doing the shuffling here, three cards popped out. Separation, stabbed in the back, Cupid's arrows, okay? So right now I feel like yeah, there's somebody who's missing you, thinking about you, unsure of the future. Um, there's an energy here of like, I feel like somebody's yearning. They're missing you. They're thinking about you during a separation, okay? But there's also a stabbed in the back feeling, heartbreak, pain. Again, separation, deception. I feel like somebody here um, feels stabbed in the back, okay? feels like really like somebody was deceived okay around that energy um and you know that could be you that could be the other person but with cupid's arrows i feel like have faith virgo love is coming there will be a surprise invitation or meeting over the weekend but right now Right now, it just kind of feels like, I don't know if this is somebody that you're already connecting with, but it feels like there was some type of heartbreak which caused a separation. And this does feel a little bit like yesterday's reading. Perhaps this is just a continuation of the drama where um, I feel like somebody's going to reach out to you over the weekend. Okay. Um, and it's going to be a surprise for you. It's going to be a surprise. Okay. Let me see here. What are the romance angels messages for you, Virgo? Okay, somebody's coming in, they're gonna make the effort. Okay, this may not be somebody that you're separated from. This could also be for some of you, um, somebody new coming in over the weekend who faced a major heartbreak a in a separation with someone and um, they're very sad, okay? They're unsure of their future as well. Um, and you might find out about this person. You might connect, you might meet them, and you know, uh, somebody asks you out for coffee or drinks, or you meet someone that you've been talking to for a while that you know has been going through um, a major heartbreak or loss, okay, and um, wants to connect with you. They're not sure how things are going to go, but this is, for some of you, this kind of feels like a start for something new, okay, and I feel like there's person here is in this position of, um, you know, they have to make effort in their life. There's trust issues. This, this person has some trust issues. So you take it however it resonates. It could be somebody you're um, just getting to know. This could be somebody um, where there was a separation with them in the past. And so I do feel like there's going to be from either scenario, um, an invitation or a meeting, surprise invitation, expressing your love. Okay. I feel like those are <clears throat> overall messages here. So we're just going to leave those there and get into the reading more specifically to see what else is going on for you over this weekend. Okay. So if somebody reaches out to you over the weekend, there's an invitation, new love coming or a meeting. Do leave me comments here on my channel underneath this video and let me know if that energy is played out for you or is playing out for you or you have something planned with someone. Okay. So let's take a look here at Friday, Friday, November 18th. What messages, what does Virgo need to know? Okay, so Virgo, you might be struggling right now financially, um, or there's a negative change in circumstances. You might be feeling maybe you lost your job, or um, you're struggling with that at this time, or you have a big loan or debt to pay. Um, uh, you might have got hit with it from the tax, <laughs> the tax collector, um, going through a recession, not sure how you're going to make ends meet at this time. You might be feeling like the world is against you. How are you going to pay your bills? 
will you get that loan? So there's a little bit of struggle here, I feel, but it's temporary. That is what the Five of Pentacles is, temporary financial hardship, okay? Because either due to a neg negative change in circumstances um, or a recession, and you know we're all going through that right now globally, um, the price of pork is through the moon, <laughs> through the roof. So yeah, but you do have friendship here. You do have love. You do have people that I feel like over this weekend are going to kind of, I don't know, like meet you halfway or express to you that things are going to be okay. Things are, you have like a support, especially one other person. Okay. So Friday, I feel like is going to be pretty significant for you. Um, significant in the way of like for you to kind of just take a look at your financial statements you know really like sit down and look at that stuff that cold hard look and face and re-budget and figure out what you're going to do i also feel like there's a potential soulmate connection being made on friday as well and it might have something to do with the original like the overall message i was giving you here Okay, um, you might connect with someone, like I said, over drinks or just go meet someone for the first time. There's a, a beautiful chemistry and compatibility. We have Taurus and Cancer energy. So attraction, connection uh, could turn into a possible long-term situation here. Happy couple, unity. So I'm seeing two people, you and another person coming together. Could be friendship, could be just... Um, it could be a romantic connection as well, where I'm seeing two people coming together and just there's like alignment. It's like, wow, you get each other, okay? Um, and it could be, a, for some of you, a friend who is kind of like letting you know that they're by your side, like you're not in some kind of struggle by yourself. You know, even if somebody is here and they can't, they can't pay everything for you, they're there if you need them, okay? So... Yeah, I do feel it, it's several. It's 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 a friendship thing, but it could also be love, as well. Okay, so I feel like Friday you're going to be connecting with someone, um, maybe face to face, with that Two of Cups, and that's beautiful. That feels like um, it's a mutual connection, and it feels like it starts off two people recognizing each other. This is a potential soulmate connection on Friday. All right, let me see. I'm also picking up Leo. <clears throat> what else is happening here on friday oh wow okay the hangman beautiful um i feel like you're also going to be able to let go of something on friday there's going to be this like hands up in the air you know whatever tomorrow brings you'll be there and this kind of feels like um you looking at your life really like looking at your life and saying to yourself you know these are my circumstances this is my situation right now I can't get out of this in the moment and I'm going to try to make the best of this situation I love when the major arcana comes because that's a real strong message for you that's a heavy influence you know and I feel like you'll be enlightened you know, it's kind of like when you're stuck in traffic, I feel like you might be stuck in traffic and have like some kind of epiphany, like, you know, this traffic's not moving forward, and I can't go backward. And I'm stuck right in the center lane. And there's cars all around me. And it's frustrating. And I'm going to be late going to where I need to go. And um, I'm kind of trapped. But you know what, I'm going to put my I'm gonna put my serious radio on or I'm going to put pop in that plug my phone play that the music I'm gonna find I'm gonna listen to something I'm gonna get myself my mindset in a better happier situation this is kind of like well this is where I'm at <clears throat> let me see <clears throat> how I can make the best of this and I'm giving the analogy of the car because I saw like uh, somebody sitting in traffic and I feel like for you Virgo that's the best way to practice um, when you're in a situation you know going into rage slamming on your horn getting angry it's just going to build and build and build and build sit back relax breathe put something on your radio look at your phone if the traffic's not moving try to get yourself distracted and in maybe like a happier kind of situation i feel like 
you know, if, if it's actually in traffic or if it's just in your life in general, you can't really move. And Friday you come to realize, you know, I looked at everything and I, I'm seeing how my life has been and how it's gone up to now. And so, you know what? I'm going to go on that date or I'm going to connect with people, friends. I'm going to go to happy hour. <clears throat> I can't change the situation right now, so I'm going to make the best of it. <clears throat> excuse me and if you get invited to meet up with somebody you might just say you know what I'll just go what the heck what have you got to lose right now right and so that kind of energy is what propels you forward if you feel stuck if you're in a poverty mindset if you feel like the world is against you and you have all this struggle ahead of you or there's a change in your circumstances and you're just kind of like feeling at a loss or maybe somebody left you out in the cold and you feel trapped or stuck that you can't move forward. I feel like the strongest message here on Friday, go meet that person. Go connect with someone, okay? Someone that is like you're in alignment with, that soulmate energy, okay? Whether that's an emotional, romantic connection or a friendship, go have a couple drinks Friday night. <laughs> Just connect with someone. If you're going somewhere, you know, have that couple of drinks here. Here's the hermit. Get out of hermit mode. Absolutely. Get out of hermit mode on Friday. Just throw your cares to the wind. Say, you know, I'm going to take that trip. Forget it. I don't care. Um, the work week is over for some of you. You know, I'm, I'm, I got to get out of hermit mode. You're overthinking things. You got to break that cycle here. And I see you doing that. You know, you've done so much self-reflection, Virgo. Now it's time to go out and dance and party and just go have fun. Okay. You, um, you've had... Actually, it looks like you guys have had money and finances on your mind more than anything. Your hard work, um, your efforts. Some of you have been overburdened with training. You've been training people or trying to set up business. I, I just feel like your whole week has been rawr you know and I, I, it feels to me like you just need to throw all your cares to the wind on Friday I don't care if you're just gonna go you know sit on the back deck with someone in the freaking cold or wherever you are in the country maybe you sit by the sea you know or somewhere warm and just have a couple of beers or just have some some lovely tea or something nice where you can just detach it almost feels like this is more of your advice okay but I do see definitely a connection being made um, over, uh, you know, starting on Friday. So I feel like there's an invitation um, and just this energy of like, don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Okay. I love it. Okay. Some of you are overburdened also with your children or stuff with school or, um, you know, some family members, maybe you work in a family business, you know, maybe you started or, or you've been, all, uh, like I said, you, you might have lost a job and, and you've been kind of like, oh, what am I going to do? I got to start over. I'm going to switch careers, maybe, or I have to go take a menial job and start, start as an apprentice. Um, or I think about building your business or something like, like, forget about it. Forget about it on Friday. Just leave it. Leave your work at your place of work and go into your social, make that love connection, especially with somebody here reaching out to you. And it could be a cancer. Okay. We also have Capricorn energy and again, Virgo. All right. Let me take a look for Saturday the 19th. What is Saturday the 19th energy for Virgos, Virgo sun, moon rising or Venus? Saturday. Okay, there you are showing up on Saturday in your own reading. And you know, you go out and you have your drinks on Friday and you have a good time. And then you're back on Saturday rethinking the whole thing all over again. Should I invest? Should I not? <laughs> Looking at your bills again, Virgo, you don't stop. <laughs> okay, you've got three of swords. You've got 10 of cups. Oh, okay. Yeah. So whoever, if you connect with someone romantically over the weekend, I feel like you're, you're, <laughs> Virgo, I feel like this is going to be something really nice in a romantic connection over the weekend. If you decide to go on that date or you connect, I feel like you're going to be mighty surprised with, you know, so if this is somebody you're already connecting with, you know, or someone new, 
it, you're going to be kind of like, hmm, that went really well. But you've got the Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups right next to each other. And that's like, okay. And with the Seven of Pentacles, it's kind of like, hmm, do I want to invest in this? You're going to be faced with now... <laughs> They just said a new set of problems. I don't know that love can be a new set of problems, but a decision is how I feel. Okay. Um, I mean, all the hard work that you've put in in the past financially is going to pay off. I don't feel like you should worry. I feel like you're, you're in a temporary situation, maybe financially, a temporary struggle. Um, but I feel like that's going to come to an end. You you will see results of all the efforts and the investments that you've put in. Um, but I also feel like as far as a love connection goes here, it's going to go really well. And you're going to feel like, wow, okay, I've made a nice connection here with this person. We made a nice connection. Do I want to see where it goes and pursue that? Or should I just say, no, I'm just going to stay on my own. I'm going to remove myself from the situation. I'm not going to see them again. I, I feel like, I don't know why, okay, but I do feel like you're kind of going to be tasked with should I or shouldn't I? And I guess I'm going to ask why. Should you make this investment? Okay. Will Some of it will be like, will this be worth it? Am I going to receive what I need? from a relationship or is this going to be an um i'm just hearing like an abusive type thing or someone who's so maybe there's some hesitation yeah that you could get hurt okay um and you know what virgo everybody feels that way even you know when relationships everybody feels that way because that's having a call to be vulnerable and putting yourself back out there. Is there a fear of being triggered again and things like that? You know, that you're not unique in that. You're not alone in that situation. You know, everybody goes through that. So I don't feel like this is something that's like a detriment to you. I feel like this is the normal process of, of meeting someone and making that connection and then being excited and being willing to connect with them again and see where things go. But then there's also that little bit of like, oh, I don't know. And Virgo, you know, you are one to assess and to analyze. <laughs> um, and sometimes you get into analysis paralysis and then you don't do anything because you're just, well, I don't know if I want to put myself in that the love position at this time in my life, right? Okay, that's okay. That's okay. And all you have to do is really take it slow, okay? There's King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? This could be with another Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, but I also feel like some of you might be looking at a past relationship, it, yeah, asking yourselves on Saturday. Yeah, I just see you really th analyzing and thinking about a love connection that gets made over the weekend. Um, you might have been, um, it could be questions, are there going to be passion, or is this person, um, or is it just going to be a lusty type of a relationship? Is there going to be anything more? I feel like for some of you, you might be like kind of putting the cart before the horse on Saturday and overanalyzing it too much because you don't have enough information. I mean, you've had one meeting, maybe you've met this person already, or you've had a couple of dates. You know, um, try not to just over, don't, don't go down the rabbit hole, you know what I mean, and get yourself into a tizzy or to worry too much about how things are going to turn out. Some, yeah, let it go, the fool, Aquarian energy. Some of you, I think you focus too much on the outcome, and that's that stumps you, okay? You're, you're too focused on how things are going to end up rather than focusing on the journey with this person or with someone new in your life. I feel like the overall message is take a little time to assess, but you know, don't get stuck on the outcome <clears throat> because that when you're so focused on how things are going to end up, things don't often end up the way you expect anyway. If you focus on the outcome or you or you plan even your outcome, how many times does your outcome actually come to fruition? Sometimes it does, but sometimes it comes to fruition with tweaks and changes and things you don't expect. So <clears throat> I feel like Saturday is going to be more along the lines of like, you know what, I'm going to just kind of assess it a little bit the way you do Virgo and then let it go. I see maybe you might be traveling also on the weekend on Saturday 
at least. Um, let me see here. Some of you might be going to a sports event. Yeah, a lot of travel here. A little bit of a journey here. Some of you are going on some kind of physical. Um, maybe you're hiking or you're going on a, a marathon or you're doing some, uh, maybe some fundraising, like a walkathon or something like that. Um, taking, a, taking a little bit of a journey here, definitely. Um, on Saturday if you have something planned or you might just plan it on Saturday and not actually do it on Saturday some of you are gonna reconnect with some family members maybe you're getting ready to travel for the holiday season and you're making plans for that on Saturday looking at your finances you might not be able to fully afford it but some of you I kind of feel like might say you know what I can't afford it but I'm gonna go because whoever invites you or whoever you're connecting with it's family or friends they're worth it okay they're, they're worth taking a little hit to your your financial um, your temporary struggle because that's what I feel like it, it will be it, it, like a very yeah you might even get gifted you might even receive a gift somebody might even pay for you to travel or go connect with them as well okay um, or money might just show up somehow on Saturday some of you might find some money in a coat pocket um, some of you might actually find that you you get um, um, something in the mail also that hey you've won or you know here's a um, what is it called they're just telling me how do they say it like you've had lost money in a treasury treasury account I'm hearing um, or you might receive that bonus on Saturday from a work or um, um, it, it's like also if you lost a job um, then they give you um, severance pay you might get that also on Saturday so things are going to work out I really feel like things are going to work out for you um, try not to worry too much let me take a look at Sunday what is the Sunday message okay you have the ace of wands you have the queen of cups nine of swords two of swords oh and the ace of swords wow your your book ending with two aces so there's definitely a new type of an initiation that's happening here wow um you're definitely going to have some type of communication or clarity coming to you on sunday give me a second here something that was at a stalemate or a truce is actually going to begin to move forward okay i'm also seeing you um hmm there's a queen of cups showing up here on sunday uh, a new beginning with a queen of cups wow okay yeah, so this card is showing up as a Libra. Could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, this person is showing up male or female energy. Very romantic. A little bit shy, I feel. Maybe even somewhat of a psychic. Pretty, handsome. Um, there's a new passion. There's a, there's a new beginning in passion here. There's also a very strong physical attraction um, that's going to um, get started on Sunday. So I don't know if that's the person here that you're connecting with, um, or if this is, it, well, you know what, it feels like this is, could this be somebody new? Let me see here. This could be somebody new that you're connecting with over the weekend, and for others, um, let me see here. Well, when I say it was a stalemate, it could be somebody that something had a failure to launch, and now there's a launching happening here. This person has an urgency to talk to you, but there's a lot of anxiety connected to this. A lot of stress, a breaking point, guilt, regret, and remorse. Okay. Oh, okay. Somebody's showing up here and wants to really, like, donate to the Virgo Fund. <laughs> somebody's coming in to lend you a financial hand <clears throat> excuse me um i feel like this is two separate messages so let me just give you a couple of there's two separate messages here on sunday i feel like somebody's coming in very generously to um either bring you a gift or 
a donation or help you out with something financially could be help you with your if you're struggling with employment or money um, they're coming in very kind this person sits in a position of authority um, so they could be an investor so they're coming in to invest okay yeah Sunday is usually, usually a time when we're not dealing with finances and investments and stuff this could also be somebody's coming in um, it's through the kindness of their heart so it doesn't feel like a business thing this gosh this ace of wands I feel like somebody is this romantic yeah this is a romantic connection okay it's also a, a physical intimate connection there's a reconciliation judgment here okay I feel like somebody's coming in to um they're coming in to open up they're having they're homesick they're missing you um they they're not blaming you i'm hearing um oh gosh okay four of wands this could be a family member this could be someone that you were connected to or you were in a commitment with okay now for others this is somebody new that you might be connecting with over the weekend that wants to see you on sunday so there's a follow-up okay there's a follow-up there's also an invitation um, or connection with someone from your hometown or where your family home is or wherever you're going to be if you're traveling um, there's a connection or somebody is coming home or returning home and um there's a big reveal happening here on Sunday with this person. I'm hearing um, somebody saying, I've evaluated myself. Um, I've looked at, I'm, ha I'm having an awakening and they want to renew something here with you. Okay, Sunday. So, hmm. I don't feel like that's a surprise. I don't know. I'm not picking up a surprise energy with this person. But I'm also seeing that after that energy happens, Sunday is going to be like, oh gosh, you're very stressed about this. And also now you're now you're like going to be on the fence about this, trying to gain clarity about what to do. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure that this is welcome. <laughs> I'm not sure this is so welcome. Is this a reconciliation or a reunion with someone that you are not trying to have a reunion with and didn't think that you would hear from that person, it's going to cause you some stress here. Um, okay, that's that message is tough you know why can't we just have a sunday drive through the countryside <laughs> um leo energy libra gemini aquarius yeah there's a lot of sword energy here wow for some of you i can tell you what i'm picking up here is some of you are like lord give me the strength to just stay ghost to not respond to someone here i feel like some of you don't want this reconciliation with someone you don't want to respond you don't want to be in a position where you have to make a decision right and and i feel like for a lot of you it's going to be just give me the courage and the strength to stay in my peace peaceful place and i don't know why you need to feel that way but there's a lot of anxiety attached and i feel like any kind of connection with someone who's trying to renew a connection with you you don't want it and you um just hearing from this person might trigger you or just give you an uneasy feeling because i feel like you're going through a lot you're trying to release you're trying to get yourself back out there in your life and, and meet somebody new as well and um this this though it just kind of feels like a speed bump you know what i mean I feel like you're going to be okay. I feel like you're going to like gather up your courage, your inner strength to, um, with that four of swords, that's kind of, um, that's kind of like not responding. You're in quiet mode. You're in withdrawal mode here. I feel like you're going to, you might want to communicate or say something but i feel like a lot of you on sunday are just gonna say no i don't need this today i'm not responding maybe you'll respond later maybe you won't at all but i just feel like for a lot of you the big the big thing for you amongst 
all of this, all of these sword cards right here, which are about communication and thoughts and your intellect, the big thing is your courage not to talk to somebody. You're not ready. Some of you are just not ready to have some kind of reconnection. It doesn't always have to be romance. It could be a family member that wants to talk to you or a friend that wants to renew a relationship with you um, and is really, really passionate and excited about it and wants to help. But for some reason, I don't know what, what's going on, why you would not want to, but I feel like the message I'm getting here is that it brings you a lot of stress and anxiety and you won't want to at, at least on Sunday and you may just block or you may just ignore or just withdraw or give the silent treatment and not try to connect with this person on Sunday. Okay, Sunday, I feel like for you, yeah, oh gosh, wow, curiosity, yeah. Dear Lord, let me not answer even though you might be curious to know what they have to say, your strength, it's going to take everything you have to not respond, okay? Everything. This person might be kind of like curious about you or stalking or want to draw you into an argument. Yeah, it's like a burden. It's like a burden. Like you don't want the burden. You don't want to have this burden. Or somebody's coming in to place that burden on you. Sunday should be a day of like, you got to get, look, here you are. Sunday, you just want your, you just want to be all about you on Sunday. That's what I see here. That's what you're focused on. That's what you've been focused on. Your stability and your security, your prosperity, your abundance. Okay. You're no longer in a position of surviving. You're in a position of thriving. On Sunday, you really feel that. Some of you might just like, you know, I'm just going to go get into a peaceful mode or, you know, get rest. Sunday is a rest day for you. You are just going to, some of you might just lay in bed and just watch your shows or just, you know, just, just complete rest. That's what you want. And I feel like Sunday, somebody's going to come in and just try to like bring everything back around in a connection. And you're like, nope, sorry. Sunday's my time. I'm not responding to anybody. You might want to, you might be curious, but you, like I'm putting that off because Sunday is my day. Sunday's me time. So I kind of like that for you because it's, it basically says, um, it, sc it screams self care for you, for yourself. You know, Sunday you have plans or Sunday you're, you're just putting you first. You're not responding. You know, um, you've got your, you're, you're putting up the do not disturb <laughs> sign for everyone and anyone and just saying to yourself, you know, I'll deal with this. I'll deal with this later in the week. I'm not, this is my time. I'm snuggling up in my covers. I'm, I'm having my pizza and my tacos like you all do in the chat. I'm doing whatever I'm having my drinks. I'm, I'm, you know, spending time alone or in just in a peaceful state, which is good. Okay. What other messages? Okay. You have an emotional wish being granted over the weekend. And also travel. So if you're planning on traveling somewhere, you're thinking about it, I feel like now is the time as you're listening to this, or at least over the weekend, to set those plans in place, okay? Um, I, it feels like if you're thinking about doing something or going somewhere, um, take the time over the weekend to really take a look at it, see if you can afford it, see how much it's gonna cost. Look at your GPS. Look at the, the time it's going to take to uh, get there. Look at the directions. Make those plans. Okay, that's the chariot energy. So it might be a quick trip. It might be a weekend trip um, or a holiday trip. I feel like you're being basically told here. Spirit is basically saying, go ahead and make those plans. Go ahead and take action and make that change. Go on that journey. If you're thinking about buying a new car, yeah, that might be like an, emo an emotional wish being granted for you. Like you find out, you know what? I can't afford this and it's gonna put me in a poverty situation. Maybe not extreme, but it's gonna might set you back a little, but it's something that you want or you've been thinking about purchasing a, some kind of vehicle, maybe even a plane <clears throat> or, um, it could be a, a bike, <laughs> whatever it is, something that you want. I feel like it's time now to do this. Go ahead and do this. Okay. Cupid's arrows, love messages and travel. See, for some of you, this is this, 
You also might have an opportunity to travel. Somebody might reach out to you with that Cupid's arrows, like somebody you connect with, if somebody new, or if there's like a reconnection with someone from your past and something, Cupid's arrows is here twice. Okay, having faith, love is coming, a surprise invitation or meeting, and that's what I'm saying here. Um, you might get a message from someone where there's like, hey, you want to go um, take this trip with me around the holidays? You want to come visit around the holidays? You know, there's a love message. There's a love message coming in, an invitation. Okay, you also have good friends. So you've got good friends around you and people who support you. You've got a support group. Okay, it could be messages from good friends to go on vacation or go on a holiday trip or do something soon to make plans with. This could be a good friend that you're connecting with that turns into a love relationship as well. Very beautiful. Material wish being granted. Okay, some of you, I'm telling you, there's a purchase here. It's not like, oh, a house is just going to fall down on your property that you, in an area you like, and all of a sudden it's yours. For some of you, it might be, it might be a win. But for a lot of you, this is like, um, they're granting you the opportunity to go ahead and now's the time to receive okay materially which will affect you emotionally and make you feel very happy some of you are going to get tickets or be gifted with tickets to go somewhere also okay look the struggle is over see that's what i'm saying that five of pentacles is a temporary struggle okay so what you might be feeling going in to the weekend or coming off the week, understand that that week is over. It's done. Now you've got the weekend ahead of you. Go enjoy yourself wherever you're going, whoever you're connecting with. Even if you're just staying home in hermit mode and just relaxing, you have the choice to do that. Maybe you'll just do that on Sunday. But that this weekend coming up is going to give you a sense of peace, um, if you detach from the whole week and everything that you've been struggling with, it's it, it's just temporary. It, back on Monday and starting the week ahead, things are going to start looking up. And that's why with Cupid's Arrows, you're being asked to have faith, okay? You're being asked to stay positive. Nothing ever stays, you know, there's that saying, what goes up must come down and what is down must go up. So nothing ever stays down for long, Okay not in general. Okay, let's see what your charms are. So you have a salamander here. Okay, there's a connection with a salamander. And you also have the Eiffel Tower. Okay, some of you maybe you're going to make plans or receive a gift or tickets to go to France. Okay, or somewhere in the nation. Okay, you also have Yeah, I'm never sure if that's a tangerine. Oh, actually, I was going to say a strawberry or an orange, but they just gave me tangerine, which is interesting. Um, so I don't know what the heck that's about. I guess a tangerine is kind of a form of an orange, but uh, something connected here with a tangerine. Maybe it's just a color that you see or, um, or like the name of a color, tangerine orange or tangerine pink. I don't know. Um, or you're, maybe you're eating tangerines. Where do, I don't even know where tangerines grow. I guess somewhere in the tropics, somewhere where it's warm. Okay, that's weird. Now you've got a T-Rex here. <laughs> How cute. All right, some of you might be going to a museum, like a dinosaur museum or something over the weekend, or some kind of museum. All right, and you have a fox here. Okay, so... Let me intuit more of these messages. Yeah, so uh, something to do with dinosaurs. Maybe a documentary. Maybe you're going to help decorate a child's room with dinosaurs. Um, or there is one somewhere near you. But I'm also picking up. I, I was feeling strongly like going to a museum. Maybe there's a date or something. Or you go with a friend to some kind of a museum of some sort. Where there's... Could be a science museum or something where there's, you know... I don't know, fossils or dinosaurs or something like that. Um, and then this fox here. Well, oh, okay. So they're saying that somebody views you as like really foxy. And I don't know. It's I feel so weird to say that word because I'm not sure that people even use that word anymore. But I'm, 
I'm picking up like somebody views you or you view somebody else as very foxy. Um, and also somebody's last name is Fox. Okay, I'm also picking that up. Somebody's last name is Fox or they live Okay, now they're just saying fox trot. There's a word, the word fox might be on a street, might be a town, might be somebody's last name, um, or it's uh, a place, okay, or just something that somebody calls another person. Okay, and this salamander, somebody lives in an area where these types of reptile, reptilian things are these salamanders. I'm not really sure. Are they in the ocean or are they in the rivers or in fresh water or salt water? I, I guess, I don't know. What do I know about salamanders? But I'm also picking up Aries, Aries energy. Okay, so maybe there's a connection with an Aries as well. Okay. All right. So, you know what? I think. Yeah, okay, they just said just pull some Chinese signs. So we just want to do that real quick. Some Chinese signs. All right, what Chinese signs do we have here? We're going to take a look at you. What are your Chinese signs here? Hold on, you guys. All right, Chinese sign for Virgo. Okay, you could be a year of the monkey, year of the rooster, year of the rooster twice. Okay, year of the dog, born in the year of the dragon, year of the pig, year of the horse, year of the snake, horse again, dragon again, and year of the tiger. So if that's if, if those are your Chinese signs, then this message is definitely for you. But if not, it doesn't mean it's not. I just also, they told me, get one um, moonology message here for you for the weekend. Okay. A time for healing. Very beautiful. And I feel like for you, Virgo, um, this weekend is going to be really symbolic for that. <clears throat> and also I'm getting hold on a minute I just wanted to see what this message was here sorry you guys this is called balsamic mood moon and then they're just giving me balsamic dressing on a salad maybe you're going to maybe you're eating that right now or you're gonna have that <laughs> Oh, that's like your thing you're trying if you're trying to pick out a dressing for your your food they're saying use balsamic <laughs> I don't know where this is the thing with this is that they don't have um, oh here we go here we go number 38 what does this mean I feel like there's a strong message here for you for this. Hold on. What does this balsamic moon time for healing? Pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay rather you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it this is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe powerful insights can be had if you know that someone or something really isn't good for you this card is a reminder to surrender start to work on your belief in your dreams so you're ready when the time comes attuned to the moon when one is healed all are healed i say that all the time in my readings when you begin healing everyone else around you tends to heal as well additional meanings it's time to let go of the past you are about to turn the corner you need more time to heal but think about how this situation would look if everyone were healed 
and the teaching is patience is required at the time of the balsamic moon. It's a time for self-care as you slowly but surely prepare yourself for the new moon, which will be on November 23rd, just around the corner. No matter which point in the current moon cycle you have pulled this card, it's a reminder to go a little bit easy on yourself. The time to step into your creative power will come soon enough give yourself the time you need and that's what I was feeling your energy especially on Sunday Sunday is really significant I mean each day is significant you know but Sunday is is rest day you need to have your rest you need to take your rest on Sunday okay and make sure you commit to that and to yourself I don't care if you're going to spend the whole day in the spa or if you're going to just lay in the bathtub, or well, not all day, but whatever you need to do, make Sunday all about you, and put everybody else on hold. You need a day that's committed solely to self, and then you can deal with everything and everyone else the following week, or whatever's going on. If you have family trips or family stuff going on, some of you just need to prepare to reconnect with family or these reunions or other people. All right, so Virgo, I hope you enjoyed that message. I hope that was helpful, gave you a little bit of insight. Again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. And um, have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you guys all back here um, on the 20th. All right, take care. <music>